it's your boy bugs back and guys we got another video today we're gonna have two to three videos today um the new content has dropped um yeah so the new content is gonna drop i should say at three o'clock eastern you guys already know the cards i heard there was a mccutcheon i heard there was ah uh, i don't even know there was a mccutcheon there was a billy wagner and somebody else i don't even know but who cares about that we're here to talk about the auction and what to do right now before the market crashes and why do i say the market's gonna crash why is your boy bugs spitting nonsense um hmm. your boy bugs is not spitting nonsense okay so this is what i'm thinking and yo as per usual drop 10k in the comments like the vid sub if you are new comment whatever you want to have a chance of winning 10k 100 likes on this video bro the support has been unreal we're about at 1.1k subs we're at 1.90 1.90 subs bro thank you for the support um the streams have been popping we're about to be an affiliate all that good stuff anyways guys ah oh, your boy bugs is about to cash out and let me tell you something everything might come crashing down tomorrow and let me tell you why so it's been about a week since this stub sale is going on. And yes, I'm watching the Golden State game right now because this is pre-recorded because I have work tomorrow. So, guys, I'm watching. I'm sitting here and I'm like, all right. So, we had a stub sale for about a week. And I think it's time that the stub sale is about to go way screwed up. And what's going to happen is you're going to see a lot of cards drop in price with tomorrow's headliner packs, with the roster update, with all of that. So... What I'm predicting tomorrow is a market crash. Listen, I could be off. Just remember that everything I say is pretty much predictions, bro. We're here for predictions. We're here to make stubs. All that good stuff. So, what I'm saying is, okay, if you want to sell your fourth inning, third inning cards like Ricky Henderson, Alomar, and Verlander, right now, I would say midweek next week will be the time. Grind the third, third inning collection. I will not be doing the third inning collection. In my opinion, I don't think it's worth it. Um... So you could sell your cards now you'll make stubs, or you could sell these third inning cards next week, whatever you want, while the collection's going on, the fourth inning collection's going on. Okay. So now let's look at investments, okay? I'm curious to look at these prices. So Chris Bryant's at 25, Chad's at 5. Let's look at Okuna's price. I'm very curious to see Okuna's price. That is what everyone everyone thinks he's gonna go diamond. Trey Turner might go diamond. Okay, Okuna's price is 7-3. Okay. So, his price is 7.3. If you guys see his price at 8K, 8, 9K, I will go ahead and sell him. And now, before the update, you're going to see that Okuna's price is at max peak price. Either way, if he turns diamond or not. At about 12 Eastern time is where you're going to see his peak, peak price. You're going to want to sell him then. And make, like that's what you want to do with most of your investments. Okuna is like a definite. If he's 8, 9K, I'll be selling all 13 of mine uh, to make those max stubs. Buy him back when he's diamond for cheaper. And then just hope he does good for, throughout the season. And uh, the Warriors are up too. Okay, so Okuna is a good player to sell at its peak. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, Traitor Woo! at 2,800 stops. Not a bad pickup. Um, do I think he's going to go up in price? I, he literally might go diamond. And I literally, I feel like a lot of people are sleeping him. Story might go diamond. If you guys see him at 6, 7K, go ahead and sell him. That's probably his peak value. As you can see, Branky up to 3K. Is he going to go diamond? Possibly. If he goes diamond, I honestly might use him out. Um, But pretty much. Okay, so Xander's at 29. I got him for about 1. So pretty much all your investments right now, if you could somehow finesse the investments and sell him for whatever you want, that's a good move. Uh, Like, just sell him to make profit, okay? That's what you want to do. All the investments are very expensive right now literally all the investments um this is how you get ready for the big market crash i think there's gonna be a big market crash um let me look at some silver cards let me look at some more gold so <sighs> let's look at austin meadows okay austin meadows let's check out we're just gonna go through a bunch of cards that everyone thinks is gonna get upgraded all right austin meadows have 540 stubs like realistically that's like his top 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 um let me look through. I'm going to pull up all the stats. Like, Bregman. Let's check Bregman. Bregman's supposedly up a ton, okay? Let's look at Alex Bregman right here. Breg. All right, yo, really? Bregman. Okay. 
25k. I'm gonna look at all the stats over the last 14 days, uh, and I'm gonna tell you what's going on. So, let's see. All players. Okay. So Christian Yelich. Let's check his price. I, I think last time I checked, Christian Yelich was at 71k. So if you have Christian Yelich, I would go ahead and sell him. 67k. Go ahead and sell him while he drops. Next up, Mike Moustakis is probably a thousand stubs. If you have him, let's see. He's at a thousand stubs. If you can sell him for a thousand, go ahead and sell him for a thousand. You're gonna sell him for a thousand anyways. There's no time to wait. Get money for the market crash. Next up, let's look at David Dahl. Let's check David Dahl's price. He's on fire. 625 stubs. Sell him. He's at his peak value. If you see him for 78, definitely sell him. He's at 77. If he goes to a 79, you're not gonna make that many stubs even if he goes gold. Just sell him now. Sell him while he's at his peak. Invest in new players. Uh, let's look at uh, Sterling Marte. And then Edwin Encarnacion. Sterling Marte. Woo. Sterling Marte. I'm so tired. It's like 11.30 at night. I'm shot. Sterling Marte, 1,400 stubs. All right, let's look at Freeman. Let's see if he went up. Freddie Freeman, 47K. Freddie Freeman's up 10K. Um, this is You probably want to sell him at this point. I would definitely go recommend and sell him. Uh, let's look at Eduardo Escobar. This guy's been getting this. He should have been a gold a while ago. 811 stubs. I would go ahead and sell him. But even though he might go gold, uh, you're going to probably see him at 900 tomorrow. Peak value. 900 stubs. Next up, we got... Oh, Corey Seager just got hurt. I still think he gets an upgrade. Okuno. I already said Okuno. Uh, actually, uh, Ozzy Albius. We're actually going to look at uh, Albius and Trevor Sto and uh, Elvis Andres have been doing really good. Um... Ozzy Albies. Let's see. Uh, we got 1,239. Uh, that's not bad. That's pretty cheap. Uh, Ozzy Albies. 1,200 stubs. Not bad, honestly. Not a bad investment. And guys, Murphy's doing good once again today. So you guys got to keep that in mind. Yo, Murphy is actually like really freaking good. And I think he's going to be gold again. So that's awesome. Murphy... Literally, he's going to go gold. If you guys see him, let's check his price. I really think Murphy's going to go gold. Uh, let's see. Daniel Murphy. 800 stubs. Wow. Okay. So, people do think he's going to go gold again. And I really do think he is. Um, if you get him for 600 stubs, go pick him up. That's a good investor right now. <sighs> oh, my God. So, guys. Overall, on the recap, what I think you guys should do is sell all your investments by about... Um, 12 Eastern, 1 Eastern, any time before the update. I highly recommend doing it. How to prepare for the roster update. This is how. Always do it. Think about it. Think about how many last people like people are trying to pull, get Ronald Acuna Diamond for the last time before the roster update happens he's Diamond. Then, when he turns Diamond, everybody who got him for like 4K is going to try to put him up on the auction and make those quick stubs, but it doesn't work like that because the auction gets flooded and flooded and flooded with cards. It's just common sense. I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about. And I want to go over some more cards, okay? Uh, we're going to look at Buxton right now. I'm ch I want to check Buxton's price. I'm pretty sure he's like a silver. I'm not totally sure. Let's see, Buxton. Uh, Nile, okay. So, people think he's going to go... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. People think he's going to go gold. Do I think he's going to go gold? Honestly, yeah. He's a pretty decent investment if you get him for 700 stubs. If you don't get him for 700 stubs, that's a big L. Um, Corey Polanco's ranked 23. Murphy's ranked 22. Mancini's ranked 21. So Mancini's finally back. He heated up. It's about time. It took a little bit. He got really cold, and now he's hot again. That's big. So Otani's doing really good, too. Otani might get a little upgrade. Oh, my God. Otani hit for the cycle today. Oh my goodness, so Otani for the cycle, um, Otani is very low key, and he's doing amazing this week, and yeah, he just hit for the cycle, we will be picking him up right now, um, yeah, that is insane, hopefully he gets upgraded, if you guys are watching this, uh, go pick up Otani for the cycle, um, guys, I hope you enjoyed, stay tuned for probably a stream Saturday or Sunday, we'll see if I have work or not, um, Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you. Be sure to follow my Twitter for anything. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This should help you on the roster update. Make sure to sell all your cards before the roster updates. And that's all I got, guys. Peace out. Hop in the stream whenever we're... Hey, yo,
Ambient. 